Hello, this is Jim Walkhouse, Director of Technology Alliances at Tripwire, presenting how the Threat Intelligence Integration for Tripwire Enterprise interacts with Checkpoint Threat Emulation Service when analyzing a newly identified bit of malware. The products we'll be working with in this session are Tripwire Enterprise, Checkpoint Threat Emulation, and the Threat Intelligence Framework. You should already have everything installed and configured if you followed along with my previous videos. So, let's begin. First, we'll want to get something interesting to analyze. In this case, I will browse to malwaretrafficanalysis.net and we'll go to the PCAP and malware section. I like using the Fiesta or Angler samples, so we'll just grab one. Now be careful with these and only use these samples on an isolated system. While we are not going to click on any of these, you could easily infect your system or network if you did. After we download this file, we extract it to a location that is monitored by Tripwire Enterprise. So in this case, I'll put it in C colon temp, where I know I have already configured a Tripwire Enterprise file system rule. This rule will detect executables that can be analyzed by the Checkpoint Threat Emulation Service. Please note, any of these files that we've downloaded are password protected as an additional layer of security, and also to allow research and testing like what we are conducting here. Congratulations, you've just successfully created an infected system, or at least a system that has a binary we can analyze with Checkpoint. Now that we're done being the bad guys, our next step will be as the good guys, using Tripwire Enterprise and Checkpoint to find and eradicate this threat. So let's begin. First step in this process is detecting the bit of bad stuff. Because this is a demonstration, I'm going to show everything manually, even though our agents would identify new or modified files in real time if this were an actual breach situation. Aside from Tripwire's detective capabilities, something you probably like about Tripwire Enterprise is customizable reporting with easily accessible details. In this case, we've created a dashboard expressly for demonstrating this breach detection scenario that utilizes the custom element properties set up by the Threat Intelligence Framework. Our dashboard includes a change process compliance report scoped to changes associated with binaries that our Checkpoint Threat Emulation Service can sandbox. You might note the element names criteria here. Additionally, Tripwire Enterprise's reports are instantly actionable. So in this case, we select the Elements View button to take action on our newly detected bit of code. The action we'll take is a quick threat check. When this runs, the file hash is the only thing that's sent to the Checkpoint Service. And because this is a new piece of malware, the requires full threat analysis element property has been set. Now, from a more day-to-day -day automated standpoint, we head back into our dashboard and a special change rate report scoped to files that need full threat analysis. We'll drop down a level into the element with a changed element report that automatically makes our view actionable. And here, we'll take the next step in our threat intelligence integration. The next step is to queue this file for full threat analysis. Running this action sends the file's full path along with associated node and element IDs to a temporary manifest. Additionally, for sake of automation, you might report on this action as we've done here with a specifically scoped change rate report in our dashboard. Once again, by using actionable reporting, we select the file and take step three, sending the file for threat analysis. This step parses the temporary manifest of queued files and tells the Threat Intelligence Framework to retrieve the binaries from the endpoints via log transfer rule. The file is sent to a secure FTP service running within the Threat Intelligence Framework, and from there, the file is transferred up to Checkpoint. All that is left is a few minutes wait while the file is analyzed and the results are sent to the framework. Now that we have our results, let's see how they show up in the console. First, we'll open our dashboard and use the last panel, which is a nodes with changes report that has been scoped to nodes that have a malicious tag. Because these are tags, the infected nodes appear in the malicious smart node group. And importantly, within the context of this smart node group, we automate responses against the nodes in it, like applying new rules for deeper inspection, executing actions that isolate the node from the network, or actions that send notifications to ticketing systems and other third-party integrations. Finally, we can use the Tripwire Enterprise agent to delete the elements that are bad, 
In this case, that's exactly what we'll do. But first, let's look at what Checkpoint tells us about the threat. Checkpoint Threat Cloud is indicated as the analysis method used, and the operating system Checkpoint used in the sandbox is shown as a custom property. So, now that we've seen that, let's delete this malware and end our story on an up note. We've created a threat response group that includes actions for Windows and Unix. When we run the delete action, the file's full name and path is derived from variables in Tripwire, and the file is deleted. Additionally, we write the file's name out to a stub, so a local system administrator without access to Tripwire can be informed on the actions taken. That's about it. We've detected, analyzed, and responded to a threat within the Threat Intelligence Framework. Thank you, and for more information, please visit www.tripwire.com.